This PowerPoint here is uh, the painting of Conan. The original artist is Frank Frazetta with his watercolor, and the painter in this PowerPoint is Lonnie Brules. The things you will need for painting a picture like this is your acrylic paints. Uh, you can buy these at Walmart in a pack of 12 for $20. These include the primary colors. Uh, you could pretty much uh, mix and max, match any of these um, to get any color basically that you want. Um, play with them a little bit and uh, you'll end up mixing up some really nice colors. Uh, the next thing you'll need is your brushes. Um, usually at Walmart you can get these uh, around a pack of 10 with the brushes that you see here, uh, you can get them roughly three to five dollars. It's uh, nothing really expensive. Acrylics aren't expensive at all. Here's your mixing tray. Uh, you probably have one of these laying around your house. A piece of cardboard is fine as well. Um, I've used various things. I've used trays like this. I've used uh, cardboard. I've used wood pallets, uh, just anything light. Um, so you can just kind of hold it. You can even mix uh, uh, your acrylics with uh, the water in these trays. Uh, one thing that's really good is the styrofoam cups. Uh, these are excellent for dipping your brush, for cleaning your brush, and even mixing your paints in them. Uh, these can also be bought at Walmart cheap. Um, like I said, acrylic's not really hard. Uh, it's uh, basically a, a, a really fun paint is all it is. And this um, this PowerPoint, my goal is to take uh, take a very old watercolor painting from a famous artist, Frank Frazetta, and use it as a reference to paint my own. Uh, his artwork is priceless, and I know I could not afford anything like this, so I will paint my own. The artwork is fun and is really a great center of attention piece for any home and is a great conversation piece as well. Please keep in mind this is just the basics because it would take me about five hours to paint something like this and uh, it's took me 37 years to actually learn to paint like this so keep in mind this is just the basics and this is kind of get a point across for my slideshow. And this is the original watercolor uh, from Frank Frazetta. Uh, there is, is his website as well if you wanted to go and look at some more um, artwork of his. Uh, he has a really nice gallery uh, down in Florida and uh, this uh, picture here is an original watercolor from a magazine cover in the 70s and he was pretty popular back then. The um, the cover had the watercolor print, uh, the back had the watercolor print as well and um, he had uh, the entire book was black and white and um, I remember as a child that uh, this is who I learned to draw from is uh, Frank Frazetta himself just going and flipping through the uh, the pages of the comic book and and trying to draw the details that he had. And this is my painting of the Conan. I'm going to show you how to go from the the basic basics and uh, basically do the same thing I did here. First, you're going to need just a black or any color that you want to start out with. Um, background. I chose black um, because it just gives it a 3D effect on anything. It just pulls everything into the foreground and uh, they're, it's great for just detail. Um, here I've added a little color. Um, I'm kind of bringing the burgundy down into it. I know Frank Frazetta's original painting was uh, had a yellow background. Um, like I said, I want to go with the darker colors to kind of throw a uh, 3D effect into it. Um, adding the colors to the background, uh, you know, you want to put a, uh, a light cutter, color on a dark color. As you can see here, this is just a basic background uh, pencil drawing that uh, kind of gets everything kind of flowing. It's going to put everything into place. Um, it's going to put the shoulders where they need to be, the elbows where they need to be, the hair where it needs to be. Um, you can add your outline. I've always used a pencil for my outline. I try to add as much as I can <coughs> so that everything falls into place. Um, to me, an outline is like a frame. Um, it basically holds your visual into kind of like a, a piece of artwork where everything is just going to fall into place. 
as you can see here, um, this is uh, just kind of throwing my colors in there inside this outline, kind of getting an idea of where I want everything to go. Um, if you paint all the areas, you can prepare for the detail. I like to start with blending and mixing the colors uh, to give me some kind of pattern or, or a visual. Here I've uh, I started adding the black paint for detail. Uh, one great thing about adding black detail is if you wanted to cover up something as you went along, you could do that. Um, you know, you could repaint something. You you have an option there because I used a dark background, so pretty much it's kind of like if I put a a stripe of black across it, I erase that, just like you would if you were using a pencil. And this photo here, I'm bringing the the light textures in, as you can see, um, in the chest area there. Um, I'm trying to give him more of a 3D look. I've started adding a paint, shade colors. Um, I may redo the eyes. I don't know. Um, as of right now, I've put some highlights in his hair. Um, white is an excellent color to do this. As you can see, the black detail is coming along great as well. Um, Here I've decided that I'm going to ahead and go uh, going to redo the eyes. I've started adding more little flesh colors. I've got my lighting kind of coming in. I've got some uh, shading in there to bring in some shape. As you can see, I've added more black for the detail to kind of bring uh, everything into a kind of like a three-dimensional effect. Uh, I went back and redone some of the little details um, and added light basically in this. Uh, in this uh, picture here. This is my, uh, after, after I've added the light to it, this is uh, after I've went back, I've made all my corrections, I've added my light, uh, I have a nice finished product. Notice all the details and were, that were put into the painting as far as shadows and lighting. There are two things along with realistic color pigments that will help you make your artwork more detailed and believable is your 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 black colors, your shading, and your lighting. This is what it looks like. Frank Frazetta's here beside mine. As you can tell, he's still the best. Um, he <laughs> he's he's amazing. And here's my picture. Um, I took this picture at a, kind of a bad angle, but uh, you, you kind of get an idea of what I was trying to do and. I understand that you know his detail is really really great, but uh, you know I have a painting of my own now, and they're really really uh, close. So the things to remember is add very little water to get your desired consistency. You paint from a solid color background. The darker the the, the, the actually the darker background you use, you get more of a 3D effect, like I had already said. If you paint from dark to light, it's also good to shade and detail before you add light. Thank you.